We have been looking at many different types of uh, technologies now for capturing uh, human motion or even muscle, sense, uh, muscle sensing and, and other types of, of data. Um, and these are used for the analysis and for more scientific uh, purposes. But in our uh, group here at the University of Oslo and also around the world, many people are also using the same type of technologies to create music. And one word that describes this and that's often uh, used is that of NIME, which stands for New Interfaces for Musical Expression. And here one of the ideas is that we use technology to create sounds and, and music. But this also requires that we work with the mappings from then different types of motion to sound. And Christian, you have you have a sensor here now. And could you can you just tell a little bit about how you have been approaching this when you've been trying to make this into a musical instrument? Sure. Um, I've been looking at this uh, armband called uh, the Mayo, uh, which has eight sensors that captures the muscle, muscle tension of, of the lower arm, uh, in addition to gyroscope and accelerometer, which allows you to uh, extract the, the orientation of the device. And uh, I've been using this for a musical instrument uh, to uh, control sound that's already there, sort of process with sound effects and also to trigger sounds like piano sounds or drum sounds. And it's quite effective in uh, how it works uh, with low latency and uh, very high, high sampling rate on the data. Yeah. And how is this connected to uh, the kind of the studies you have been doing on, on sounds and actions? How is this related to working? I mean, the other way around, really. Yeah. What is interesting is when you when you know how people relate movement to sound, you can use that knowledge to map the data from this device into a synthesizer. Uh, for instance, if you were to control some sort of tone going up and down, maybe you would want to use this armband going up and down to control that pitch. So if you know that people relate pitch to vertical movement up and down, maybe you want to use that information and let this movement uh, be mapped to pitch on your synthesizer. Mm. And one thing that many people often are a little bit confused about is, is this um, uh, when we were talking about technologies that you have either you can make an instrument or you can make more of a musical device. Uh, what, is your, what is your take on this? Well, I guess that's a big debate, but uh, I, I don't see why, why we should uh, confine musical instruments to very narrow things. I would say if you use this to control the DJ mix, it's still a musical instrument. Uh, it's not and some sort of musical device only. A musical instrument can be many things. Mm. 
So one of the things that we see then when we work with music technology for creating new music is that it is possible then to use knowledge from our scientific studies also for creative studies. And what we also learned is that it's possible to use really any type of technology um, to create new musical instruments.